At first glance, Barty Crouch Jr., the son of a respectable citizen, a high-ranking official, and a hero of the first war against Voldemort, appears to be an extremely repulsive character. He betrayed his family. He served a psychopath. He participated in the inhumane torture of the Longbottom family. Listing all his feats is impossible. But in J.K. Rowling's world, no one becomes a villain simply because they wanted to. Everyone has their reasons, their beliefs. And even if we don't intend to, and we don't intend to justify the character, we can certainly try to understand him. So, why did the son of a respectable citizen choose a path of murder and tyranny? Family Situation Barty Crouch Jr. was born into an almost perfect family. His father and mother were pure-blood wizards who loved each other. His father was building a career in the Ministry of Magic, and his mother was a housewife. What could have gone wrong? But something did go wrong. Despite sincerely loving his wife, Crouch Sr. had neither the time nor the energy to show love to his son. Ambition drove him forward, and the tense situation in the magical community created even more stress at work. As a result, Barty's father was strict, demanding, distant, and stingy with praise. While his mother loved both her husband and son unconditionally, young Barty received no warmth or approval from his father. Growing up in an atmosphere of constant craving for his father's approval, Barty found another way to get it upon entering Hogwarts, Slytherin. He joined the community of future Death Eaters. Sadly, the boy was not without talent. He graduated brilliantly, aced all twelve owls and new tees, and not just anyone was accepted as a Death Eater. Of course, werewolves and other dark creatures fought on Voldemort's side, but to be a Death Eater and earn the mark was an honour reserved for the best. Crouch Sr. had reasons to respect and value his son, even excluding the fact that parental love should be unconditional. Service to Voldemort Barely out of school, Barty became a full-fledged Death Eater. Unlike his peer Regulus, who disliked what the Death Eaters did, Barty was perfectly content. The question is, why? Could he have been as devoted a psychopath to Voldemort as Bellatrix. Judging by his arrest scene, no. The young man shrieking cried, Mom, no! I didn't do it! I didn't know! Don't send me there! Not the behavior of a psychopath convinced of his rightness, just an ordinary scared boy. It doesn't matter whether this behavior was sincere or if he was simply hoping to evoke pity and get a lighter sentence. Compare that to how Bellatrix behaves. Three adult prisoners stood up from their chairs. The woman, looking at Crouch from under heavy lids, exclaimed, The Dark Lord will return, Crouch. You can lock us in Azkaban. We will still wait for him there. He will free us and shower us with rewards. We were the only ones who remained loyal to him. We tried to find him. Perhaps young Crouch did not have the strength of spirit that allowed Regulus to go against Voldemort but he had not yet become a hardened maniac. I think young Crouch still had a chance to realize his mistakes, repent and switch sides. But for this, he needed to receive at least some scraps of something good from the so-called light side. And what does he get in return? His father disowns him. He spends several years in Azkaban, and that has never made anyone kinder or more reasonable. His mother, the only person who loved Barty, sacrifices herself so his father could smuggle him out of prison. Then this same father keeps him under the imperious curse, clearly not intending to ever lift it and start treating his son humanely. The treatment is not as of a living person, but as a cherished vase of the deceased spouse. So why would young Crouch recognize his mistakes and reassess his attitude towards Voldemort? The Dark Lord remains the only one who values him. Each event in young Crouch's life only strengthens his loyalty to the Death Eaters. By the time he personally meets Harry Potter, Barty Crouch Jr. has become perfectly loyal, 
willing to do anything, slightly psychopathic, and a desperate supporter of Voldemort. The transformation was complete, and we know what happens next. Disguised as Alastair Moody, Barty kills his father, and I am sure does so with pleasure, leads Harry to victory in the tournament, and helps Voldemort regain his body. Then he undergoes the Dementor's kiss, and that's it. Barty is no more. He died happy, helping the person he believed in, following the path he wanted to follow. I condemn the evil that Barty did, but I genuinely pity the unloved boy inside him, so desperately in need of respect, love, and acceptance. 